Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Silas mid versus a uh, Vex, a pretty annoying counter matchup where if you try to fight her with your dashes, she will hit you quite often. Um, and even your chain, if you land your chain onto Vex and she does hit, like she buffers her Q at the same time, so she's stunned and using Q, if there's fear on that Q, it stops me. So I will not fully take the Q all the way forward. Um, so she has some pretty terrible uh, things for me to go against if she plays like very optimally or if I play in a bad manner. So um, the early game could be rough. If we can get past early game to uh, get some AP and maybe even Merc Treads this game, it will become substantially better. So that is probably going to be the goal to not lose too hard. If you die, that's okay. I mean, it's, it's not really that big of a deal. One death doesn't mean that the game is just over. Two deaths doesn't even mean it's over. Even three deaths. Uh, Silas is a good scaler and he can come back. And it, it kind of depends on what champions that they're playing as well. But they have some pretty nice ults. They have Jax ult, Vex ult. Vexult's really good. Um, Ash ult, of course, very good. 100% uh, AP ratio on that. And I also want to try out building um, the Triple Lost Chapter build. I kind of want to try it, where we go for uh, Archangels, Ludens, and Malignants. Yeah, Malignants on Silas. It sounds interesting. I, I kind of want to try that this game. So... I still got hit by an auto attack and that did damage, right? But I did manage to get away from her ability so I didn't get feared. Because otherwise I would have gotten feared and taken the damage. Uh, probably like a little bit more because she could continue auto attacking me. But thankfully because I, I dodged it, I was in a better position. <gasps> that doesn't kill? What did I auto attack? You're going to hit me with everything. I'm just going to commit everything for these uh, minions, I guess. That's crazy that I just missed that much. Dang, that sucks. Well, at least we're not dead. I mean, we definitely should be down minions no matter what, but we shouldn't be down to the extent that I am down. <laughs> so, oh well, I guess. It is what it is. But how do you beat somebody who's doing this, right? Like, who's... If somebody is pressuring you, what are you supposed to do, right? This is a counter matchup. You can't even play the game. What are you supposed to do? You just wait for jungle to come. Um, you can, honestly, if you really want to get them to rotate, you just spam ping the hell out of them. So, that's the best thing you can do. Spam ping the crap out of them to make them rotate to help you. Um, but she already got to kill top lane. And... You have to understand, if you're down, what, 16 CS, if you can just buy, right, let's, let's, I just bought, right, and she's kind of out of mana and stuff, and I'll even try to freeze it. So see how, like, I, I froze it, so now she's in a bad spot? This is what you can do with TP. Although now she's like calling her jungler over because she knows that she needs the assistance. If my jungler was here, we would just 2v2 and win. But sadly, we don't have our jungler with us, right? So. We at least forced some time away from uh, the Master Yi, I guess, for the time being. But yeah, you can do stuff like that where you kind of ruin their laning phase. But then he gets bailed out and stuff. Um, and what I was trying to say earlier is that if if we keep up this 16 CS deficit, if she reaches 100, I'm at 84. And that's not that big of a deal, right? That's like barely anything. So um, it's okay to give it up early if it's going to just, just keep that CS deficit all game. Just don't lose more, you know? We probably should have been able to kill her here like if anybody else was nearby but unfortunately you know 
Talia was busy doing other things, so I don't really net anything for myself. It is what it is. I said I wanted to go for that build path. I need to buy this tier pretty early if I want to be doing that, though. Oh, she took another turret shot. Damn, you are kind of missing a lot of abilities here. Vex, I am so happy that I didn't land that ability on you because I would have probably went underneath tower and died. We got her flash though, so... Um... I think I could easily set up a play if, if anybody else wants to come mid. 11 minutes Vex Flash. She is going top to kill my top laner. He's probably just dead. I don't think that he has a way out. Unless he has Flash himself. But he doesn't, so he's dead. See you later. Sorry, man. I know. She's crushing me. Games on me, boys. The thing is that, like, look at the lane state now. Like, how much better it is for me at this point. And that's just because, uh, I mean, I hit her with my ability, but, oh. I can get her low, but I can't kill her. And I can even, like, freeze, but once again, I can't do anything. Talia's playing for Gragas. Yeah, look at her go. If I can land my ultimate on her, she dies. But I need her to use her fear. Oh, I got hit by that? Well... Yeah, I can't go in, dude. I'll die. Now I can, though. I had to flash away because Mashi was about to kill me. Thank God Talia landed that ability so I could go in. If I go on to uh, that Vex there with my ult, I'm pretty sure it's super easy. She just presses Q. And I die. I'll die inside of the ult. When you use Vex ultimate, you're not invincible, so I'm not going to take that. So thank you so much for the assistance. Getting me two kills is uh, humongous. And now we can go for this. Of course, we're not going to finish this item. We're just starting to build it. And I'll probably go Merc Treads as well. Because of the amount of CC that they have. So we'll go for Illudence first. And then Malignance. Probably? I guess it depends on how fast I can stack this tier. I don't want to finish my tier item until I finish my uh, Seraph's like, amount of tier that I need. So I guess we'll see how fast we can get it. We shouldn't have mana issues anymore, so... Okay, you clearly see her. You should just leave, but whatever. Ping me. Ping me. No pings? Nothing? Mid is AFK, deaf, and blind. I ping that she's missing. You have wards down that she's walking over. Who's the deaf and blind player? Are we sure that it's me? <laughs> Why do we put down vision control if we're not going to look at it, you know? It, you put down vision control to look at things, right? No, it's my fault. Sorry, man. I clear... I don't know what... I, I need, a, like, a challenger coach. A different... I mean, I'm challenger myself, right? But who cares? I need to talk to another mid laner. What should I be doing <laughs> to make it so Vex doesn't gank this guy? <laughs> oh... Ow, that hurt. She has no flash for a little bit longer. Oh, but Master Yi's here. Master Yi keeps hovering around mid, dude. It's so annoying. 
Leave me alone. Leave me alone, dude. It would be cool to help Gragas uh, gank and stuff, but guess who's probably on these right now who I'd walk into? Oh, is that Master Yi? Yep, it is. It do be the Master Yi. I just run. I can't really do anything to her. I think Merc Treads maybe now is better. Maybe I should uh, just build it. And just TP back. We're keeping up in farm now, right? So it's not really that big of a deal. Bot lane is doing tremendously good, and it's really good that they are because we're super AP heavy, so we needed our AD damage dealer to be important, because if he wasn't, then we just kind of are in a losing state. Oh. Talia is in their jungle, bro. Well, at least they're off the dragon, I guess. I mean, there's not much, though. We can't do it, right? I really wanted Ash ult, but she's not going to give it to me. That's all I can do, and then just run. <clears throat> the Master Yi is once again nearby. But, I have Vex ult. I'm gonna die, because Vex ult doesn't really do much. <laughs> like, I'm going really hard, but an ideal decent damage, but I still am very, very uh, squishy if I go underneath tower. But she's worth a big shutdown. I was worth a shutdown too. I don't know how I was worth a shutdown, but I mean, I got more gold than she did, so I guess it is what it is. Plus, I got her flash, and I didn't have flash, so. A net summoner win too. <sighs> so, finish this. Don't go for Seraphs. That's dumb. There's literally no reason to go for that. What? But you're 1 HP. Oh my god. What is going on? What is everybody doing? Why does everybody seem so uh, tilted suddenly and doing these weird plays? Odd. I'm trying to hold the wave here and use my abilities because she's not pressuring, so thankfully I have a small window where I can finally hit the wave without taking a bunch of damage back. We have two dragons, which is amazing. Wait, did she somehow steal it and that's how- wait. Is that what happened? Is that why she went in when she was 1 HP? Or was that after? Alright, I have my item in base, so I can be the same items as her, so I think we should just go, so I am even. Wow. That's, that's pretty bad. Our <laughs> winning lane is, uh, losing. Oh no. Oh no. What is she building? A Storm Surge? So she's not going to have much CDR. I guess that's kind of good for me. Alright guys. I will take this red buff. Shove out. Get ready for a team fight. It's about that time. Okay, I got the Master Yi Flash. Boom. 
because we got that Master Yi flash, we were able to get that kill. Tell me she dies before I do. Please. Oh my god, dude. My goodness. Yeah, this matchup is just so damn annoying. But man, when I finish that Seraphs and have the shield, <laughs> I feel like it's going to be so good for us. Yeah, the reason why I also want to build the triple uh, items is because Silas is a pretty nice benefiter of uh, building um, CDR. And, I mean, they, they do have a lot of CDR. All of the lost chapter items do. 25 each. Jax might be coming mid? Is that what's going No, he TP'd bot. Well, Vex doesn't have ult for the time being, I think, so I should be able to shove this with, even though I'm low. And, uh... You're alive? Nice. Timer's really fed, yikes. Jeez, you almost died to that. Yeah, just Heimer does so much damage, man. He is so spooky. Huh. Wow, that's... I mean, hey, at least you killed her, I guess, but... Welcome to Vex versus Silas. My god, bro. So, we have our Malignants now. Ultimate CD, 30 seconds. What is a late game CD? 17 seconds? <laughs> Yo. Let's I wonder if we can get it down to like 10 seconds. Let's make it so I can Ash ult and then start a fight and then take Vex ultimate inside the middle of the fight and just continue doing stuff. Or just take Ash ulti on repeat, huh? Minimum of 40 seconds though? Pfft, whatever. I'll just take everybody else's. I can't take the same person on CD. Maybe we can kill this guy. Look at, he's pretty far up. He's playing very aggressive because he's uh, more fed than my Gragas, but my Gragas is kind of keeping him somewhat interested, no? Okay, dude. Yeah, my bad. Whoopsies, I made a mistake. Definitely wasn't you. <laughs> Wow, my ultimate's already back up, dude. Although I can't take Vex ult because it's on CD, but... That would have been a cool kill to have. I don't know. I expected him to use ultimate when he jumped in to ulti him back towards our turret. So he, he had uh, less of a chance of running, but he just didn't do that for some reason. Nice kill, guys. Do you have a lot of stacks? Only nine? Okay, that's good. You, you don't want to take the kills when Draven has stacks, and I thought that I just made a mistake for a second, but I didn't. Now, we are still pretty far away from finishing tier, which makes me sad. Really, Heimer? Really, Heimer? Can you actually one-shot me? He's sitting back there, or he just left. I think he just left, because the turrets went down, so I'm gonna just push out. Heimer has put down three turrets in a brush, and then they all in you, because they can 100 to 0 you with, like, not even that many items. But he's fed, so he doesn't even need, like... You can already do it when you're not fed, so if you are fed, then it's even more disgusting. So that I'm scared to face check him, even though I saw where he was. 2,500? Bro, that actually costs a lot. Yeah, that... God, dude, she hurts so bad. Kind of makes sense, though. She has Ignite, too, so... I need to dodge her ult. 
she might ult, I guess. Okay, getting her flash is pretty gigantic. We like that. I oh, know, I just throw it out. Oh, they we lose Baron GG's on that one. See you later, Baron. Right? Unless I... Should I just TP in? Hey, good kills, everybody. Nice. We TP in to make it a 4v4. Talia was not able to get there because she's the jungler and stuff, but, I mean, it worked out in the end. If you land hook... Aw, oh, dang. I was going to say, he lands hook, I land E, I go in, and we're hopefully CCing her enough that we can one-shot her because she will kill me very quickly at this HP. All right. It's not bad to lose uh, Baron. I mean, as long as you can kill most of them afterwards and get like a turret, then it's about even gold value. So we are finished with our item. So we have the triple. People have said that I should call this the librarian build because you're building triple last chapter. So three books, librarian. Fourteen seconds CD on your R at level sixteen. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. I really need to build, like, a Void Staff. <laughs> if I want to deal damage to this Jax. Everybody else, I guess, is pretty chill. I could just go with Death Cap and just say, screw it. Just don't even deal damage to, uh... The Jax and just kill everybody else. Dude, this Vex is way too far up. This is not legal. Hello? She also just used her Fear as well. Oh, you need to go in, like, now, though, because she has Baron Reset. No, the, the Seraphs! The Seraphs! The Seraphs is doing so much! And my CD is still really good. The Seraphs there, shield, was like 700. Shielded. That's like the amount of damage that I took when it was up. If I got the shield and I didn't take any damage, it would say zero. That's like the impressive part. That means that it got procced and Jax did 700 damage and realized he had to run away. And look at like his items too. He has a lot of MR. Dude, this build is underrated, but it does take a while to become online. I mean, to be honest, how it works, though, is just you have a tier. And tier sets you behind 400 gold, but otherwise you're building very similar items. You could totally just go for, like, Lich Bean instead. I don't know. I feel like Ludens is fine. It's not bad. I should not go in on her. <laughs> if I go in on her, I'll probably die. Uh, because I don't have Seraphs, but if I had the Seraphs, I'd be down <laughs> to go in. So I will sell this by... I kind of want to go the decap. Honestly, I think decap is good. Like, they have no MR on these four. Zero. And as you saw, Jax doesn't really deal that much damage to me in the first place. I feel like we can fight this guy. Unless, like, for some reason, uh, Master Yi is here. I think Master Yi shreds me really hard. I'm just gonna run. Oh. Yeah, dude, the Seraphs again shielded me for about another 750-ish. Wow. What is this build, dude? Okay, so, uh, you know what? I'm so close to decap. Building Medjai's is grief. 
because I can just be on the map for a little bit longer and just 400 gold and finish something that's going to significantly increase my EP compared to a Magi's, even though I have 10 stacks. God, this just does not die. I can go take Ashold. No, you guys already killed. I can't even take Heimerdinger ult. I don't have my Seraphs yet. I did slow her down though. Okay, Seraphs is up in five. I have decap and base, if that matters. Oh, Vex died again, sick. I, I guess I'll just stick around. I really want to go buy my item, but, you know, maybe we should just play to end. Can we end? Maybe we just get inhib and back away. I guess that we aren't really the best pushers, huh? I'm a little bit surprised they have an FF. Because it does feel extremely doomed for them. I don't know how they're going to make a comeback. Yo, you might get caught. Oh, you didn't. Okay. And now I buy a blue pot. Oh my. The 800 AP. 14 second CD ult. <laughs> 85 CDR. Nice. Very nice. My ultimate's coming back up for you now. I have my serve, so I'm confident. I will go in no matter what. Oh, he's going for Draven. <laughs> this just sounds like a fun fight. I just want to see how it goes. You, you can break my serves if you want. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're not even close to killing me. So GG's, uh, that was it. GG. GG, Gragas. Good work. <laughs> so, um, the build feels pretty nice, and that was versus a counter matchup that I really dislike. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video, and I will see all of you guys in the next commentary. Thanks for watching. Damage dealt. Highest on my team, but you can see that their Heimerdinger did more than everybody in the game. And Vex also did a lot of damage too, but we managed to get to the spike points that mattered that allowed us to have a much easier time playing. So thanks for watching once again. See you guys later. Bye.